This is Getting On With Life, Biblical Wisdom for Successful Christian Living. And this lesson is Keys to Endurance. At times, life is not so easy. The saying goes, life wasn't meant to be easy. Most of us have to endure things we don't like or don't want for some of the time during our lives. So here are some keys to endurance. The natural idea of enduring is to tough it out. We steel ourselves against what is coming and are much more likely to survive. In situations where people are in constant danger, they can be in a state of readiness, steeled and prepared for any surprises, and that can be exhausting. That's what it can be like living with unpredictable dangers, such as an angry family member or in a violent community. That form of endurance, toughing it out, is a survival technique. But there are two other endurance keys that come from a very good source. The best place to look for wisdom on endurance is to Jesus Christ, the perfect example of one who endured to the death, while falsely accused, hated, spat on, whipped and beaten, betrayed and abandoned by friends. Jesus knew in advance that he would have to go through terrible trials. We are specifically told to look to Jesus as a role model, specifically related to endurance. Hebrews 1.3 says, Looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Note there that what enabled or supported Jesus in enduring his terrible ordeal was anticipation of what would come after the troubles were over. When we can look forward to sweet and wonderful blessings on the other side of what we are about to go through, we can anchor ourselves on that expectation. A woman about to go through childbirth has the knowledge that soon she will be holding her baby. The trial of pain and discomfort is not the end, but the birthing of something very special. John 16.21 tells us, A woman in labor has pain because her hour has come. But as soon as she has given birth, she no longer remembers her anguish, for joy that a man has been born into the world. Jesus knew that his ordeal with those who hated him, through to his crucifixion and resurrection, was a birthing process. It opened the way for millions of people to be saved from sin and made children of God. Jesus would be the first one born from the dead to new eternal life. Similarly, an athlete will endure harsh rigor for the joy of improving their personal best, winning over others, and maybe being the very best in their field. A business owner will endure long hours with great risk and little reward in anticipation of creating a successful enterprise. So the first key we see in Jesus is that of having a worthy goal ahead of us that makes what we are enduring worthwhile. And for some, that goal may simply be the better life in heaven, since what they suffer on earth will take them to their grave. Slavery, deformity, and disability are things some endure, but only in this life. The Apostle Peter gave us another clue to how Jesus endured so much bad treatment. Peter instructs us to be willing to suffer even though we have done no wrong. In his first letter, Peter uses Jesus as our example. That's 1 Peter 2, 20 and 21. How is it to your credit if you endure being beaten for doing wrong? But if you suffer for doing good and you endure it, this is commendable before God. For you were called to this because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. What was the example left to us by Jesus? Was it that he made himself tough so the blows would not affect him? Or that he somehow turned himself off to the pain? No, it was a matter of where Jesus placed his focus. He trusted God. 1 Peter 2.23 continues, When he was reviled, he did not revile in return. When he suffered, he did not threaten. But he entrusted himself to him who judges righteously. Jesus trusted God. Jesus chose to allow whatever would happen even though he cringed at the pain and terror of the ordeal, trusting that God would not let him down. To recap, Jesus could endure what he had to go through because he looked beyond the ordeal to joy that was yet to come. And he also endured because he trusted himself to God, who only does what is right and just. 
Often under duress and trial, people want to determine the outcome. They may want justice, and so take revenge. Or they may want release from trouble, so they compromise or make some deal. They know what outcome they want, and they work to get it. That's not what Jesus did. The outcome you think you need or insist on getting for yourself may not be the right or best outcome, and may be far from what God knows is good for you. You have to trust yourself to God, not chase your own idea of justice and right. Consider the example of sheep resting on green grass in the afternoon sun. The shepherd calls them to get up and follow along a rocky path. The sheep resist the rocky path in abandoning their lovely green grass. They think they know best and may want to resist the shepherd. How dare he take me away from all this goodness? Why does he make me walk on these hard stones when I could have stayed on that lovely soft grass? If he really cared about me, he would let me keep enjoying what he had given me instead of taking it away from me. However, the sheep do not know that the night is coming and wolves would tear them apart if they did not walk the stony path back to their pen. The rocky road is not punishment, but a process leading to greater security and taking them away from danger. If you are enduring ongoing challenges of one form or another, or a storm of challenges one on top of the other, then look to God and cry out to Him for deliverance. You are welcome to tell yourself life wasn't meant to be easy. Maybe that will help. And you're welcome to tighten your muscles and steel yourself for the ordeal. But there are lovely keys given you by the example of Jesus. Consider what is ahead for you after your trials are over. Maybe that will be in heaven, where you walk streets of gold and enjoy eternal rest and blessing. And look to God to be in control, since He knows what is best. Trust Him to do what is right and just. Submit yourself to God, humbling yourself before Him, so you receive more of His grace. Rest in Him, even in your trials, and look to the example of Jesus for the best keys to endurance. God bless you.